How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Mike from Poke Tips, and this is it. This is the final episode of my Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee Extreme Randomizer Nuzlocke, and we are wrapping it up facing the strongest trainer in all of the Kanto region, Red. He's hiding over here right next to the bushes, but I see you over there, Red. You can't hide from me, Ash Ketchum. This battle coming up is for everyone, every single Pokemon that we have used in this run. All of our fainted Pokemon, all the ones that we haven't gotten to use, and our current team right now of Dooku, Django, Ray, Gardula, Chewbacca, and Sarlacc. This is going to be the toughest battle we have ever faced. Red's Pokemon are going to be stronger than you've ever seen before because the randomizer boosted all the levels. So this is truly going to be a battle that determines who a Pokemon master is. In addition, normally throughout this randomizer, I could use items, but due to the nature of this battle, I won't be able to use any items. This is going to be 100% skill and we are going to have to win. I think that's enough hype for this battle. Let's jump in and battle the Pokemon Master himself, Red. He looked at you and ready to Pokeball. Do you want to battle him? I think so. Let's do it! Final battle against the Pokemon Master, Red. Listen to his theme. That is epic. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. And Red is going to be leading off with the Rapidash. I'm going to be leading off with Dooku. Alright, so I think we could do this, oh my gosh, yeah, level 93, just what I thought it was going to be, that's insane. So, I'm going to go for Mega Evolution for Mega Charizard Y, and go for Earthquake, come on out for the last time, Mega Dooku! There we go, and oh, he's faster than me, and he's got Growl too! Oh no, oh no, no, no. So I went to Megazard Y because I feel like it's gonna be more useful throughout the battle, but that is doing nothing. Okay, so we're gonna need to get out of here right now. Let's swap into uh, Django. I honestly thought that, you know, I thought that Dooku would be able to do it, but since it has Growl and it's lowering my attack, and now we see that Earthquake does absolutely nothing, we should swap out into a water type. Okay, good. So now he's going for Growl again on my Starmie, but Django doesn't care if you lower my physical attack because we have special attacks for days. So let's do it. Another useful thing in this battle is we have Recover, so we can heal off some damage. Okay, Seismic Toss, but that does a lot now, actually, because it's level 93, so that's going to do 93 damage. But we're almost taking it out. That's a good thing. That's definitely a good thing. Now, huh. If it goes for Seismic Toss again, I'm going to be at such low health. That's kind of scary. So I kind of want to go for Recover, but you know what? I'll just knock it out. Let's just get rid of this Rapidash, take out Red's first Pokemon. I hope we can win this battle, because it seems like every one of his Pokemon might have a really good chance of outspeeding me, and that's dangerous, especially when I can't use any items to heal up my Pokemon. Once their health is low, that's it. Ooh, shiny Dugong. Gardula isn't shiny. Oh, no. All right, so what should I do here? I guess we could switch out into Sarlacc. Sarlacc wouldn't be a bad option, although we might have those ice moves. That's scary. That's definitely a scary one. We could also go into Chewbacca. I think, you know what? I think I'm going to try Chewbacca out. We'll go for the super effective Brick Break. Sarlacc would be a good option, but if it has an ice move, I don't want to take that. And it's kind of scary that he's switching this in. Yeah. Yup, that's why. Because whenever the AI, I've learned this, whenever, like, the computer wants to swap in a Pokemon that's kind of weird to me, it's usually because they have a move that's good against me. So there we go, that was a very good switch out, and we get a nice brick break on him. Oh, no, okay, good. Thank you, Chewbacca. Thank you, that's scary. That Hydro Pump might be the end here. But, let's see. He went for Giga Drain, he went for Hydro Pump. I think I'll go for a brick break again. I think that's worth it. So I could switch into Sarlacc right now, and I know Sarlacc would resist everything he's going for, but we're just dodging it for days! Chewbacca, you are a boss! You never let me down, buddy. There we go, let's take out this Dugong. Two Pokemon down, four to go, we can do this! We can do this! I'm still a little sick, so I might lose my voice after this episode, but it's worth it. Oh gosh, Red and his Mega Venusaur now. Alright, so Dooku's coming back out, definitely. I think we can handle this thing. Now, what I'm debating on doing is, should I go for Flamethrower or Air Slash? Obviously, Flamethrower does more damage, but Air Slash has that flinch chance. Stun Spore. Well, now it doesn't make any sense to go for uh, Air Slash, because we're going to probably be slower than it. 
Even though Dooku is a fast Pokemon, I can't see Dooku outspeeding this thing when it's paralyzed. But let's see. Yeah, no, it's still gonna outspeed me, and that Sludge Bomb hopefully doesn't hurt for too much. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, that's alright. We're doing okay. Very nice! That'll be a two-hit KO. We just need one more. Come on, Dooku, don't get paralyzed. That's all we need here. Just do not get paralyzed. There we go! Dooku's taking him out. Very good. Half of Red's team is down and out! Ah, <sighs> okay, good. Oh, Aerodactyl. Oh, two Megas! Red has two Megas? This is a mess. Oh, gosh. This is bringing me back to my Ultra Sun and Moon randomizer where I lost to a Mega Aerodactyl. We don't want a repeat of that situation. Now, the problem is Mega Aerodactyl is going to 100% outspeed everything on my team. That is a fact. So, nothing can really swap in. Django would usually be my counter for this, but I know we swap in Django, Django's dead. So, I guess I'll try out, uh, Chewbacca again. If it goes for a rock- oh, wait, no, it's flying type. That was kind of stupid. Ugh! Chewbacca! Ah! I shouldn't have done that! But I guess we kind of needed to. Chewbacca, thank you for everything. Thank you so much, buddy. You did so well. You did amazing. So, I am so proud of you for everything that you did. Now, Gardula, I need you to avenge Chewbacca here. Just get this Ice Beam that should be quad effective against this thing. Come on, wow, that does nothing. That did absolutely nothing. Is that quad effective? What? Alright, let's try this again. I, I was really expecting that to do a whole lot more. So that's kind of disappointing. Alright. Freeze, freeze. Nope, we are not freezing it. Alright, hopefully we can get one more Ice Beam off on this. Gardula, recover! What? Why does this thing ever recover? No. No, 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 no. I'm not liking this. And it does even less damage now. That's so weird. All right, I guess we have to keep trying with the Ice Beam. I guess that's our only real hope here. Oh, no. No, that wing attack does so much. This is a Pokemon that I'm actually, I don't know how we're going to beat it. Everybody else is so crippled. All we have left is like Ray at full health. Let's see, what does Ray have on her moveset? We have Super Fang, which will bring it down to exactly half health. I think, maybe, if Sarlacc can survive a hit, we might be able to take it out with a combination of Ray and Sarlacc. So let's get Sarlacc in here. All I need you to do is just survive one wing attack. Please. Please, Sarlacc, you can do this. And then let's get... Uh, yeah, I guess we'll go for Leech Seed. Just get a Leech Seed. Please don't die. There we go, Sarlacc. That's what I'm talking about. Very good stuff. And we seeded him. Awesome. So now we're going to get a little bit of health back every turn, which is going to be really useful against this thing. This Aerodactyl has been the toughest Pokemon Red has sent out so far. It's kind of unfair that he has two Megas, honestly. I'm not liking that. So, I guess if I want to, is it worth going for stuns for, or should I just swap out right now? No, here I'm gonna swap out right now. We're gonna go right into Ray. I think Ray is a better chance. I don't want to lose another Pokemon, especially when Red has more after this. We don't know if this is gonna be the strongest Pokemon on his team. That Wing Attack's still doing so much, but at least because of Leech Seed, we're getting some sort of recovery now. So, what I'm gonna go for here, wait a second, does Super Fang, does that always do half health? Or, for like, from full? No, it just cuts it in half from its current. So, instead, we should probably go for Thunderbolt. It's probably gonna go for Recover- Oh, it's going for Stealth Rock now. Oh, no! No, that just, like, killed basically two of my Pokemon. Now we can't bring out Dooku, and we can't bring out, like, oh. We can't bring out Dooku, and we can't bring out Django, because the Stealth Rock will probably kill them both the second I switch them in. So now it's kind of just down to Ray, and it's down to, uh, Sarlacc. That sucks! This Aerodactyl is too much! Oh my gosh! Okay, alright. We need to get lucky here. I want to paralyze this thing with the Thunderbolts. That would be great right about now. Just give it the paralysis. Come on. Oh no. This is gonna be tough. This is going to be really, really tough. We can do it. We can beat it. But at what cost? How low is our health going to be after this? It's going to go for recover again. Ugh. One of these Pokemon always got to spam its recovery moves. Again, I don't really care about how high its health gets, because I know with the Leech Seed damage... There we go! We finally got the Paralysis. But with the Leech Seed damage, we can slowly wither away, wither away its health. 
There we go. So let's bring it down to about half now. Let's go for Super Fang. Because I think that's going to do overall a lot more than the uh, Thunderbolt will. And the good news is we actually outspeed it too. That's really, really good. So I think we should be able to take it out next turn. We'll go for Thunderbolt and maybe the Leech Seed will leave it... In I don't know. I don't think it's going to do enough. It's almost there. If it gets fully paralyzed, we might be able to take it out. Alright, we need to get lucky here. Come on. Crit or fully paralyzed? We can do this. Get him, Ray. Get him, Ray. No! Ah, oh, so close. But we'll get him next time. We'll definitely get him next time. Oh, it, it sucks seeing its health go all the way back up. We got so close to finishing it, but we didn't quite get there. Ah. Uh. All right, we're going to have to go for that again. We're going to have to try again. If you don't succeed, try, try again. And I think Thunderbolt right now is going to do a little bit more than the Super Fang, or not. Maybe not. Now, ugh. This battle seems like it's going to come down completely to luck now. We need it to get power- There we go, that's something. Now we just need that to happen again when it gets to lower health, because every time it gets close to fainting, it just goes for recover, and it's really, really annoying. But who knows, maybe we'll get lucky here on Critical Hit it with Thunderbolt, please? Please? Come on. Come on, almost fully power- No. Okay, I think this is our shot now. The Leech Seed will put it in the red, and all we need is Thunderbolt to do that. I think Thunderbolt can do that much. I think we finally got him. We should finally be able to take out this Mega Aerodactyl. You know, Red's a cheater. You're not supposed to have two Mega Evolutions. And now watch, he's going to set out another Mega Pokemon. If he does, oh, he's got Melt. Okay, Meltan. Not Mel Metal. Not Mel Metal. That's good. That's really, really good. And Seismic Toss again. It's going to do so much damage. Hopefully we can take out this Meltan easily with Earthquake. Nice! One hit KO, and that's going to bring Red down to his final Pokemon. All that Seismic Toss, that's actually a dangerous move right now. And the last Pokemon is going to be a Pidgeot. Oh no. Oh no, I'm not liking this. I'm really not liking this. Because again, look at the rest of my team. Dooku dies to Stealth Rock switch in. Sarlacc, if it has a flying move, that's it. Django also is going to die to Stealth Rock switch in. So, looks like we have a little bit of a situation here. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to swap out at all. I think what I'll go for is I'll try to go for Thunderbolt and see how much that does now. Oh my gosh! No, he doesn't! No, he doesn't have three Mega Pokemon. Although that looks like the normal Pidgeot. What did it go for? That looks really weird. Okay. Wait, that's the regular Pidgeot, right? Maybe I'm crazy, but that doesn't look Mega to me. It's just going for Flash? This is so weird. This is really, really weird. What's going on here? So did it Mega Evolve or did it not Mega Evolve? Is this a red regular Pidgeot, or is this not? I don't know. All I know is it keeps going for Flash and Supersonic. This is annoying. This is annoying, but hey, it's not going for damaging moves, and that's what I want right now. Don't go for any damaging moves. Let me just hit you. There we go. We don't care about being confused. We don't care about any of that stuff. It looks like two more Thunderbolts will do it. Come on, Ray. Come on, Ray. It has to have some sort of damaging move, but it's just doing all this silliness because it wants to annoy me. So we're confused, and we have low accuracy, but Ray doesn't care! There we go! Come on, Ray! Yes! Critical hit finishes it! We beat Red! There we go! Oh my gosh, that battle was looking hopeless! That battle was looking so hopeless! Red seems a little surprised, I seem a little surprised too! We did it, guys, and we got the title of Battle Master! We beat Red! Oh my god, my voice is done, I have a sore throat, and I'm screaming because I'm so excited, but Red went his own way, and I guess it's time for us to go our own way too. That was incredible! Oh my gosh, I love that battle! Guys, you all did so well. Chewbacca, thank you for your sacrifice. Gardula, thank you for your sacrifice. And I'm so glad we got out of that battle with four of our Pokemon alive. We had to fight like two and a half Mega Pokemon. That Mega Pidgeot still kind of surprised me because I'm not really sure what happened there. 
But anyway, that was an epic conclusion to this randomizer. That was an amazing battle. I am so happy. I am so happy. We did it. We beat Red. I was so scared going into that battle, but my team can get through anything. So, my friends, I want to thank each and every one of you for watching this randomizer, for traveling along with me for 25 episodes. It has been an incredible journey. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. I had so much fun doing this run. It was the greatest randomizer that I ever did. And trust me, if you enjoyed this run, you're going to love the next randomizer that I'm going to do. But guys, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for watching this. I will see you in the next video. Thank you. We are the champions. We beat every challenge that approached us in this run, and we followed our dreams and made them come true. So guys, thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed this series, and I'll be seeing you in my next randomizer series very soon. Have a fantastic day.